Oh my gosh! What? Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off, world one. Right, like I'm gonna use a star on this boomerang, bro. There's no outcome of this boomerang, bro, where his boomerang takes less than a second. Or less than 50 frames, right? I timed it with Louie and we did both, we did both uh, boomerang bro throw variations. Yeah, you can destroy the boomerang with the star. That's why I do it. And now, okay, so now using that star, Tampa, every item that I use for the next like four worlds is only one input to the right. So now the P wing in world, now the P wing in world, uh, in world three is one input. The music box I use in world five is one input. The P wings I use in world six is now one input. I just gotta go down the page. Yeah, the way, when you use that star, the way it sets up your inventory, it's impossible for it to not be uh, faster. I'm getting rid of so many inventory movements by doing that. good. Yeah, see, for someone who uses the star in the fortress in World 4, this doesn't work for them. But because I don't use the star in the fortress, every item I use all the way until World 7, I always have to go more than two inputs in inventory. See, because I used the star, now my P-Wing is only one inventory away. This is fantastic. I can use it right away. Ugh. Come on. Nice. Tampa's upset because now the 100% can be beaten. Why did I do that? Now the question is, is using that star... Eh, it's not over, it's not, wouldn't be worth it. Ah, oh, I should've used the cloud. So, Warp Whistle, Music Box, Warp Whistle, Hammer, should be, right? Oh, it doesn't matter now. Oh, come on, dude, I fucking jumped, man, that's so annoying. There's no way I hit my head. So, we got... <clears throat> we got Tompa to time it, and it's uh, 48 frames to equip the cloud. <clears throat> Excuse me. It would be it would be roughly 48 frames to equip the cloud. Uh, a one a one input inventory is 48 frames. Only top water versus ground, yeah. Yeah, because using the cloud would guarantee no water battle at all. So what 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 is the time difference?
We just learned, yo, Louie, we just learned that uh, the star in World 2 has potential of 50 frames to save. Almost a second. The, the best, the best outcome is 50 frames. The worst outcome is still faster, which you and I kind of like played around with too. Yeah, just compare everything you did, Louis, to 48 frames of inventory, which I'm sure you already knew was the amount of frames. What happens if I clip through the edge of the level? Probably die. You have to remember, using these items shift items we actually use to one input rather than like three. You think it's an option? Nice. Yeah, because naturally without using the star in World 2 or an, a, a cloud until you get to World 6, isn't the P-Wing you have to go down to your second page and write one or two inputs? So you're already losing more than 10 frames per piece per... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, most people use the star in World 4, so maybe it's maybe it's a little less than that. Yo, Insult, what's going on? Yeah, it's, it's very interesting in this situation because even using the star in World 2, just that situation itself is not what saves all the time. It's later in the run, the inventory, which is awesome. I'm trying to reduce everything down to one input. I want to, I want to equip every item with one input. One, two. Two is as far as I'll go. I'm sick and tired of this three, three inputs and... You know, four inputs. I'm done with those. You can save a lot of time by reducing almost every item down to like one or two inputs. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, so check this out, Louie. If I get this star right here... I'm not, okay, nice. So I get this star, right? The next three items that I hope to get, which are probably pretty within my control, is a P-Wing. A P-Wing right here, then I beat this world, and I get another P-Wing, so two P-Wings beside each other, and then if I do World 5 and I get the P-Wing, that's three P-Wings beside each other. Now, if the P-Wings are the one input to the left, then I can do three P-Wings. One input. All because of using the star. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? The three P-Wings in a row is just so beautiful. I just can't contain it myself. Oh, I gotta practice this. I practice... I, I took your advice, Louie, and practice 7-4. I feel like an idiot for doing so. You should never really have to actually practice it, but after the the jellyfish part, nice. With no leg. After the jellyfish part, if you swim up in the top right corner, I notice that there's only two patterns that the that the uh, bloopers do. It's very interesting. If, if you fly, if you swim up to the top right corner after the jellyfish part, and the blooper that you can see uh, goes to the right, then you can just stay there the whole time, and they go off screen. No, you want to swim top right and watch for two different patterns. It's crazy. You can actually get them off the screen right away. But there could be more patterns. I didn't save state directly into the level. I always exit the level and retry it again to double check. 
See, I can just... Nope. Oh, and it didn't lag either. Wow, nice. Okay. So that was a different pattern than one, than one that I experienced. Unless I got scared. Unless I didn't recognize it just for the sake of not knowing. Oh my gosh. I almost took so much damage everywhere. Well, well, that was a pattern I was unfamiliar with, so I don't know what... I don't know what that was about. Uh, not off the top of my head, Louie. I know Tompa's... Oh my good. You wanna know why that happened? Because I pressed... I was pressing over so much on the D-pad for that trick.